bar graph, circle graph and tally marks. In the previous class we have read about pictographs. We also learnt how to interpret bar graphs and circle graphs. Here we shall discuss how to draw bar graph, circle graph etc. A bar graph is a kind of diagram showing information in a way that is easy to understand. A bar graph looks like a several blocks of flats in a line. They do not touch each other and some are taller than others. Consider the following example. The children of a class were asked about their favorite colors and the information was shown as a bar graph. The bar for the pink color is tallest. It means pink color is liked by most of the students. Also, the bar for blue color is shortest. So, blue color is liked by least number of students. The bars for red and yellow colors are of equal height. So, these two colors are liked by equal number of students. From the bar graph, we see that four children like the purple color. Six children like the red color. Eight children like the pink color. Five children like the green color. And six children like the yellow color and three children like blue. It means there are 32 students in the class. Let us now discuss how to draw a bar graph. The maximum temperature of a city for a week is shown in the table here. Let us draw a bar graph to represent this information. Draw two perpendicular lines on a graph paper as shown. Take the days on the horizontal axis and temperature in degree centigrade on the vertical axis. For vertical axis, choose a suitable scale. Say, one division is equal to 2 degrees centigrade. Since 7 days of the week are considered, so 7 bars are to be constructed on the horizontal axis. Leave one division from the vertical axis and draw a rectangular bar to represent the temperature on Monday. Now, draw bars to represent the temperatures of other days of the week, leaving equal gap between each bar. Shade the bars. Write the title and scale on the top of the graph. A pie graph is always in the form of a circle. The different sized slices of the pie represent information in a way that is easy to understand. The pie graph here shows the different games played by the students of a class. From the pie graph, we can get the following informations. Chess is played by least number of students. Hockey and cricket are played by equal number of students. Also, these two games are played by half of the students. Also the three games, badminton, tennis and chess, are played by half of the students. A public school is thinking about changing the color of the boys' shirts. The pie chart shows the color 100 boys voted for. We can interpret the pie graph as given here. Half of the students, that is, 50 students, voted for green. One fourth of the students, that is, 25 students, voted for red. One fourth of the students, that is, 25 students, voted for white. Can you find how many did not vote for red? Clearly, 
three fourths of the students, that is, seventy five students, did not vote for red. Samir was trying to record the number of different vehicles passing through a road between ten a.m. to eleven a.m. He used tally marks to record the observations. The table shows his observations. The number of times a given observation occurs is called its frequency. For example, the frequency of bus is four. Car is eight, auto is five, scooter is eleven, motorcycle is fourteen, and that of cycle is two.